Good morning, church. Uh, today we're going to be going over 2 Peter chapter 2, and this chapter is basically a warning about false prophets and false teachers. Um, false prophets and prof false teachers can seem like great people. Uh, they can even be people in the church. So you need to um, be aware that that is a possibility in the way to... Um, try to be aware of their deceptive practices is you have to stay in the word you have to stay in the word you have to have a daily prayer life so that you're constantly aware of something that they may say something that's that's not truly doctrinal or biblical and so that you can decept that you can understand that and discern that so um this this passage is just warning us that there are people out there that are, are they have bad bad motives and um, they're usually pur purely selfish and greed uh, greedy motives um, and they're trying to turn you in a different direction away from God. Uh, it, this passage does go over that um, Lot was righteous and God saved Lot from Sodom and Gomorrah, which was probably you know, the most evil thing described in the Bible. Uh, the, uh, the most evil place, anyway, described in the Bible. And uh, because God knew Lot's heart, um, he saved him. And so God knows our motives. He knows our heart. So if he knows that we love him and we're trying to honor him, he will protect us. Uh, we will not be chained up with those angels that were cast out of heaven um, in, you know, to eternal darkness. We will uh, we will be with him. So we we have to keep our focus on him. We can't be deceived uh, by these false prophets, um, even if they speak with very impressive words. Uh, we have to always use scripture to, to go back and check what they're saying, what they're doing, making sure it's biblical um, and it's God honoring. So uh, that's my, my word to y'all today. I hope you go back and read Second Peter chapter 2. It's great wisdom uh, about protecting ourselves from false prophets. Have a blessed day.